so I thought it was about time I up my game, so I thought I'd buy myself a teleprompter. Yes, I bought it myself. This is from a company called Desview, and I bought it on Amazon. Link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. And it's quite cheap actually, compared to some of the others where you put a bit of cloth around the edges. I thought this was more professional, and it was a toss up between this one and El Gato's, which I couldn't actually buy at the time of you know making this video. It wasn't actually out, there was reviews out, but to try and buy it was very difficult. And I think it was about 260 270 pounds to buy, whereas this was about 78 pounds to buy. So it's well worth the money, in my opinion. Hopefully, it works, otherwise, it'd be going back. So this is the T3 Teleprompter Smartphone Tablet DSLR Teleprompter. Paint and design supports ultra-wide lens. Hopefully it'll fit on my Black, Black Magic Pocket 6K Pro Gen 2, which is that one there. Hopefully. So uh, with that, let's get her out. It should be quite easy to assemble as well. Hopefully. Get that out of the way. Yeah, I never thought I'd be actually be buying one of these. You know, I've always thought about getting one, and then I thought, is it for me? I don't know, but we're going to give it a go. So, instructions. Comes with a remote control, by the way. Yeah, I know. Quite scary, isn't it? Some packaging. Oh, it's in here somewhere. Get that. Hopefully she comes out like this. She does indeed. Get that away. And it's already assembled. There it is. I'm not sure how it opens. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Oh, right, it says Paul. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. I'm pulling, but I don't want to break it. It says Paul, doesn't it? Look. Oh, pull up. Perhaps. <laughs> like I said, I've never used any. Or I've never used any whatsoever. So wh whatever you do, I have watched some videos and it says, whatever you do, don't touch the glass. And it's got a bit of fluff on it. Hang on. Will it go? It's gone. And that is it. Like I said, it's already assembled to a point. And there is some other bits in there, plus a remote control. Let's have a quick look. I'm really excited about this, you know, instructions. Now I was going to buy a different brand actually. I was going to buy, I was going to buy from uh, newer, but I decided to go for this one because the newer, again, was it was a cloth material around it, and I thought, nah. So a nice uh, little remote control with X, Y, A, and B on it. It has that looks like a pause button. That looks like power on, maybe I'm not sure. Joystick for controlling, uh, OK button. So brilliant, especially if you can't keep up with the text that's going up or it's going too slow, you can speed it up from what I understand. Like I said, never used one of these before. It also has, apparently, several different adapters depending on your lens side. Size, not side. And the way you find out your lens size is on the cover. Yeah? So mine is... Made in Japan, 72. See, it's on there. Lenses, see, loads of different lenses or lens covers or sizes, whatever you want to call them. So you should be able to get the right size. Uh, not sure what they are, or that, or even that. Might just be, you know, padding. That is either for, I believe, that is for your tablet, or. No, I think it is for your tablet. It's either for your tablet or for your camera. One or the other. A cloth for cleaning. Or oh, that might be... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I need to read the instructions. But yeah, looking forward to playing about a bit and looking forward to putting it on that camera. Fingers crossed it fits because where that camera is now is perfect. And I don't want to move it. I just want to leave it there forever. So... Uh, Give me a second while I read the instructions and figure out how to put it together. Hopefully it's very simple. Right, before we begin, I've already had this up and running because I want to make sure it actually fits, otherwise I'm going to have to send it back. But it does, and the software works. It's not perfect, 
and it does say in the instructions that you might find, especially with the remote, that some of the functionality might not work, depending on what tablet you've got. Obviously they couldn't test every tablet in the world, but they have tested a few, and it does work to a point, you know, forward, backwards, pause, play, things like that. But some of the other functions don't actually work, or they don't work in the way they're meant to. So uh, with that, I'm going to show you how to uh, set it all up. So like I said, already had it up and running already. So the first things first, you need to adjust this. I just put mine on full length, which is right down there, and then just clamp that up. Job done, that is the easy bit. Now, if you're going to be using your phone, then you will need to use this. And the way that works is, roughly, it goes, let's see if I can show you, it goes like that, into that little slot there, put your washer on, like so, and you do it up. Now, depending on how your phone is set up, you might need to move it, but ideally, you want it like that. And then all you do is you choose the right lens cover for your phone, which will probably be, let me just get one out, one of these. These got little push outs. I've left them on now. But yeah, you just push them out and you fit it to one of these, push it out depending on which way your lens is, whether it's that way or whether it's that way. I'm not going to push them out because I don't want to mess them up because I ain't going to use them. But then I might do in the future. But yeah, that's so how it works. Yeah, quite easy to do. <clears throat> I will show you how to fit one on in a minute because I've already got one on my camera. But I want to show you that bit first. So you can leave that like that, even if you're not going to be using your phone for recording, you can still leave that like that. And then on the other side, leave that on, make sure you leave that on. I'm going to assemble this bit. Now, I've got this bit, now it doesn't show anything in the instructions, and I'm wondering if they've got that to do, or to be a spacer. I'm wondering, because I couldn't see it in the instructions, but... I'm going to use it and put it on now. So the way you do that is, that will go somewhere like that. And then you screw in from the back. Like so. Let me just get that up. See that? And then this will go on. So I'm trying to make sure you can see it, even if I can't. <laughs> screw it up. Make sure it's hand tight, which it is. That is it, and then you put, and then you put your tablet on now, or you can actually use a phone. Now this, this bit here, press that button, and you can shrink it, make it smaller. Yeah. So if you just want to use a phone, you probably want that size. But if you press that button, you can pull that back out, which is what I do because I'm using my tablet, and then I need to extend it even further like that. And yeah, it does fit. I, like I said, I've tried it. So what you can, can do is pull it out. So you get this. So that you've got it in a permanent position all the time, or as much as you can. Don't do it right up, but do it till you're ready to do it right up. So go like that, undo it a little bit. Pull that up. And uh, we're going to go for maximum again. And do that up. Make sure we do it up tight and it holds it in position. So now, when I put my tablet on, this baby here, which is that way, I've only got to pull it a little bit and voila, job done. It's very easy to do. Now, I have found some downsides to actually using this. It is, especially if you've got a quite a long lens, it makes the camera front heavy. But I did find an easy way around it. But that's basically it. Now then, mount it to the camera, and this camera is quite heavy. I've already put the cover on. This is a 72mm one. Don't forget, it comes in several different sizes. Uh, mine is, for my, my lens anyway, is 72. Let's do that back up. Make sure, if you've got a heavy, or if you're using a heavy tablet, make sure your leg on your tripod, this little baby here, is in the same direction as your lens because like I said it becomes front heavy now to put this on 
it's very easy actually. All you do is just slide it down. And that is it. Now let me show you what I mean about it being a bit top heavy. So if I go like that, so the legs are to the side, and then gently push it, she's just gonna tip over, yeah? Because it is just front heavy. So I found if you pull it in the same direction as the legs, obviously it can't go over. And that is it. That is so easy to do, or so easy to assemble once you know what you're doing, of course. And voila, job done. She looks beautiful. Now, the software, let me show you the software. Teleprompter, that's what it's called. Give it a few seconds or you can skip. Now, like I said earlier, I've already been playing about a bit and had a little practice. So I'm just gonna show you what you can actually do. So, say for instance, this one. Right, so there it is. Get your remote control. I've already connected it to my tablet, so you will need to do that, but it's quite easy. And then, this on here, play button. Does a countdown to pre-warn you. And away you go. Now then, the thing is, that's the wrong way round. So look, look, I can pause it, yeah? So you need to go into settings, go into here. And if you can't see it, because there's a bit missing, I think if you turn it like that, there you go, mirror, click on that, and go back. And click on that, and we're there. So now it's upside down, yeah, or back to front. See what I mean? back to front but it will work perfectly now on the actual screen itself press play so when you add that shining on the actual screen it will read the right way up yeah very easy Let's see if i can quickly show you give me a second let me just pause that a second right let's see if i can show you now see that it's round the wrong way there, but it's the right way round now. That is a teleprompter without a camera on it. Yeah, works really well. Let's go through some of the things I like and dislike about it. One, it's plastic and uh, it does move about quite a bit, especially if you have something or you put extras on, like my monitor. If I put my monitor on it onto one side, it does tend to make it tilt to one side because there's nothing stopping it or locking it into place. So that is always square. So that's one thing I don't like. Some of the actual controls on the remote don't work, but it does say in the instructions, and I did mention this earlier, that you know it does say, depending on what tablet it is, we'll have a different response to it. And by the way, I'm actually using it right now. I'm not actually reading anything off it at the moment, but it is scrolling up with some text for another project I'm doing right now, or after this one, actually. So yeah, things I do like about it, first of all, the price. Yeah, it is dirt cheap. You know, I think it was just under £80, pounds, something like that. And I thought that's well worth the money. It comes with free software that you just download, which I've done. And that worked extremely well, or is working extremely well. And you can change the colour, background, things like that if you want to do that. You, I believe you can change the uh, fonts and stuff like that. I haven't touched nothing. Some of the software I don't like, you, you can't just go from a Windows operating system, say for instance you're using Word, and you type it all out on Word, and then you transfer it to your tablet, it, it doesn't work. So what I found is, just email it to yourself, and then just copy and paste. Yes, that's, that's all I've done, and that works extremely well. So it definitely gets my thumbs up. I think it's brilliant. I, it will take me a little bit of time to learn how to talk to, or to read a text as if I'm, you know, talking naturally but then what I might do rather than write out a whole script is just do bullet points you know say for instance you want to know a spec or something or I need to tell you a spec that'd be a bullet point so I can just read out a bullet point and that would I think for me personally would be easier 
Now, I do know quite a few YouTubers who don't like using teleprompters. For that reason, it doesn't come over as natural. So with that, yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. I think it is the way to go, especially if I need you know, a bit more information and I don't want to keep looking at the screen <laughs> like that. And if I want to pause it, it pauses instantly. And if I want to go back and start again, yeah, I can do that. Or if I want to play, play. And away she goes. Yeah, um, good investment in my opinion. If you're serious about doing things like YouTube or making videos and you write scripts or you need to read a part of a script, this could be the way to do it. So with that, as always, I will stick links in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. And if you do like my videos and you do like this product, click on the link. It is affiliated link. It does give me a tiny, tiny kickback at no extra cost to you. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.